about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm at the Dances with Films Festival and we're talking all about the film Reach. Take a look. You produced this yeah. film, so tell me why this is an important story for you to tell. So I produced it and I co-wrote it with two other young men, Johnny James Fury, who plays the part of Clarence West, as well as Grant Harling, who also plays the part of Mr. Tony. Um, it was an important piece because I really uh, love the age range, which is high school, and I felt that the story resonated with my personal experience advocating for youth in the arts, which is my background. And I wanted to say something about being kind. So um, kind of like the antithesis of some of the films that touch upon the common themes of bullying and mental health and suicide and all that kind of stuff, our film is really about the power of kindness and how one small gesture can change somebody's life. Uh, it's told from the point of view of a, a high school male boy, and it's about male relationships, which I also think is refreshing to see as well. So yeah, no, I think this is kind of an important story to tell right now, especially since we just we just lost a couple of people this week, right? I mean, my prayers are out to the families of Kate Spade, and then um, uh, uh, my mind is blank. Is it Anthony? What the? The show? Oh my gosh! CNN. I, you know. Aren't you kind of the savior of like Stephen in this movie, right? I like to think that they save each other. Have you ever had a moment where you actually done the same for somebody else in your real life? Uh, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, um, it was actually inspired by a true story. In me personally, in high school, um, I reached out to somebody who I normally wouldn't reach out to, I guess, on a regular day basis, and um, yeah, we ended up sparking like a good friendship and the whole senior year, last year high school, became really good friends and, you know, helped each other out. What does he think of this, this movie? Uh, he's really proud, you know, he, uh, we still talk, you know, through internet, all the, you know, outlets on the internet, uh, but yeah, he's really proud of it and, I mean, it wasn't just him in particular that uh, the story, you know, was uh, straight from, but it was more of a compilation compilation of all of them yeah why do you think this is an important story for you to share though um so many reasons i mean especially right now it's just so crazy out there you know uh, i think awareness in general is something that is needed you know whether it's on this topic or any other topic it's just people are they are so scared to talk about things or they get uncomfortable or it's just so taboo but Awareness prevents so many things, you know, and you rather have awareness first than, you know, have the hindsight 2020 moment. But I, I think that's why it's important, just for awareness in general. So you guys keep making me laugh when you do this. Good. Um, <laughs> tell me about your role in the film. My role in the film. No, uh, I play a pretty bad guy. Uh, I, I'm a I'm an alcoholic father of. Uh, of a son who is going through a lot of changes in his life. My wife left me and I turned to drinking. I'm a, I'm a cop on leave trying to get my job back and I make a lot of very bad decisions. Um, my character does a lot of things I really, you know, that's really gonna have a lot of people talking about a lot of families don't know how to handle situations, especially the ones that I'm coming up on. Not only the alcohol side of it, it's more about my son's just a little bit different. It doesn't mean he's a bad person, it just means he's different and he expresses himself in different ways. So um, when you see the film, when you see it, when you see it, and you see it, you'll see that uh, I might not be a bad guy uh, when when you look at the whole scope of things because I don't know. I just don't know how to deal with things. That's a problem. If you don't know what you don't know, then how do you fix it? And I think this guy is a is a uh, a product of not having anyone be able to educate him the right way, and then he takes it out on the people he loves the most. Okay, so we're here to celebrate Reach. So tell yes. me a little bit about the film. Um, it's about the uh, the power of kindness and how one small gesture can change someone else's life for the better. Uh, basically, how uh, with the unfortunate news today of Anthony Bourdain passing, it's sort of that um, conversation that needs to be had. It's it's okay to reach out and ask for help. It's okay to say you're struggling, and it shouldn't be something that's so taboo and it's it's sort of about that. I, I play Nick Perkins. Um, he is the antagonist of the plot, the bully, um, and his story is kind of crazy. Um, I told I told someone earlier today, um, you know, there's a story behind every bully. Every bully is going through something harder at home and that's why they act the way they do most of the time. 
not all the time, but most of the time. And I think in Reach, you guys get to see a part of Nick's struggle, you know, with what's at home and also what's at school and also what he's hiding himself. So, yeah, it was a it was a tough role to play, and I'm so honored to have been able to tell that story because you know I usually do comedy and I usually do lighthearted stuff, and so this was the first time that I got to really dive into drama, and it's like my new favorite thing. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> what do you play a character like that? What do you draw from? Oh my gosh, interesting question. Um, well, I had a wonderful scene partner, Kevin Sizemore. Um, he is the one that actually got me, you know, down into character. Um, but I dove, I mean, I, I dove into like past experiences of mine, whether it's uh, bullying myself, I just played the part of the other, or I don't, I don't know if I can say certain things if, if it gives away the plot. Am I li like? Yeah, I mean, I think we kind of know the plot of the story. Yeah. Well, no, there's something deeper going Is there on. There's a my secret. Character. Okay. There's a secret. Okay, well then. Well, well there you go. Secret. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I knew I knew how to tap into that secret very well. Well, that's it for me on the carpet of this festival. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time, guys, as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.